Hello everyone, this is JDog, and I'm here with another video. So, the man you're looking at is so Silhuli Mola. Um, I don't know, it's some name. I don't know, Silakula Moli. It's some name from Africa because he is from South Africa. Um, he's the scientist that discovered the recent new variant of the Sharona, or the Rona My Sharona. We know that when we say that actual word, uh, it does stuff to your video and channel. But they're calling the variant, um, the variant is called Omicron, yeah, Omicron Sharona. And it was discovered in South Africa, but it was already in Europe. But when a person from Africa came straight to the United States from Africa, that's when the media called it the South African variant, when it's not a South African variant. It was just discovered, but it was already spread throughout Europe. Who, who, what makes you not think that it may have went to from came from Europe to Africa and then to the United States? So it was just discovered by a South African scientist, and that's the scientist you see. There's some some Hula Moa, the the Silk Hula Mola. He's the um, the scientist because he's from South Africa. So no, he discovered the Omicron Sharona. Yeah, he discovered the Omicron Sharona. And because he happens to be from South Africa. No, it did not come from South Africa. Stop calling it the South African variant. But I'm bringing this up is because he talks about in this article about the mistreatment of African countries, the unfair treatment of African countries. Like, they put down a eight-country ban on nearly eight countries in, in Africa. And, but then the African countries called, and the South African president, called out the United States and Europe for the, the media handling and for the bans because... They said that it was racist to do the Muslim travel ban, but it's not racist to do the the African country ban. This article says scientists who identified Omicron calls the world reaction a unfair treatment of African countries. Remember, the Rona started in China, but and when Trump was calling it the China virus, we was like, stop calling it the China virus. Uh, 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 treat China respectfully, and, and that's why a the Asian community even got a, a hate crime bill to protect them, just them. But when it's Africa, where, where's where's the black crime bill? Because you know they've been using this to mainly attack black people. So to my African viewers from Africa who are viewing this video, this is what white supremacy does. And they use the media. They'll even use a, a, a world pandemic to still use racism. So I'm only going to read a little of this. The world may have joked about Rona, Omicron variant, by changing its name to Omar. And that's racist right there. You're using the name of a popular black singer. But that's not the reaction that the scientists who discovered it Sekula Moa is slowly concerned about. The first case of the variant was reported to the World Health Organization from South Africa, and since its discovery, Moa has become disappointed in the world's response. Moya is a research um, associate with the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health and the lab director of the Botswana Harvard AIDS institution partnership so he might actually be from Botswana no no wait he is from South Africa but he, he 
this thing is from Botswana. Yeah, but yeah, he was from this thing that was in Botswana. Team that was responsible for identifying the Omicron variant this past November. The New York Times reports four international travelers contracted Wuvid on November 11th, four days after entering Botswana. After further analyzing the scientist's discovery, the genetic sequence of the case was variant and forward to the research and public community. Countries take action. After noticing variant, variant strains mutation, the team flag that the flag, the Ministry of Health on no, Monday, November 22nd, more revealed to NPR other groups in South Africa were sequenced samples and recognized similar after inputting sequence in the public database South Africa reported to the WHO on November 25th. When Omicron became known to other countries in the late November, they immediately took action. The United States, the United Kingdom, and other nations issued travel bans against eight countries and South and eight African countries, such as South Africa, um, Zimbabwe, Nambia, Mozambique, Mawali, Lusati, um, Iwatini, and Botswana. Sorry if I pronounced the other a couple of them wrong. We were saddened. For me personally, I felt that after two years into the pandemic, clearly as the global health community, we could be responding better and coordinating better. How do you reward the countries that alert you of a potential danger pathogen with travel bans? My country was put on the red list and I didn't feel good about it, Moa said to the NPR. Although Moas and scientists ethically made the right move by coming forward about the new variant in the same breath, Moa believes his country is being punished. Yeah, because they didn't want us to punish China, but they're okay with punishing Africa. See, they didn't want to, they didn't want to, they didn't want America to punish China, but they're okay with punishing Africa. I wonder why. We know the repercussions. Flights were canceled. Goods were not coming into the country. A lot of business lost millions. And our vaccine, I mean, sorry, the magic elixir supplies. Oh, sorry. Oh, all right. Mar. Mexican elixir supplies was being threatened because of the delays on on the way. He said, "Quite a trail of destruction, so it was a roller coaster for us. One of the mo the on the one extreme, we felt we were contributing to the world in a small way, and on the other end, we felt it was how you reward scientists or significant pro progress." The travel bans to Africa presented questionable motives to the countries that implied strict regulations. Botswana President Mosengi Mazi previously stated that the four foreign diplomats who contracted the, the Rona have come from other countries, the New York Times report. So see right there, um, those people who may have caught Omicron may have came from other countries like maybe in Europe or Asia before going to the United to New York and in particularly the United States. The as uh, skeptical towards research it worsens and the country continues to experience financial loss, MOA leaves the world with food for thought about why Africa is being punished at greater cat um ca captivity. I would call it a unfair treatment of African nations. I would too Moa said, according to the NPR, the Alpha variant was raging in the UK months ago, and none of the countries put UK on the red list. Yeah, and I wonder why that, because we understand it's a global village. Of course, we enhance... Sorry, I'm trying to read from this article from my phone. All right. 
Of course, we enhance border screening, enhance requirements for entering into the country, including maybe a quarantine and testing, but it was never shutting our doors because we understand that these viruses, these Ronas, don't respect our natural borders. Straight the numbers. Moro wants to see the end of the pandemic and hopes more people will become, well, be the magic elect elixir. You know why I'm not saying the other thing. However, we recognize medical disparities. We stall improvements towards ridding the virus between wealthy and poor countries. Even in Botswana, it has become difficult to get the magic elixir the population while other countries are giving out boosters due to lack uh due to lack of financial backing moa said we have a significant part of the world that is less than 20 percent max um hit with the magic elixir if we increase mad the the use of magic elixir in those countries, we are going to reduce the chance of this virus. You know why I'm saying magic elixir, everybody who is reading this. is not to be joking, but you know how YouTube is. Give me... Uh, um, but anyway, where was I? giving the room to circulate in other parts of the world and generate more muta uh, mutants, uh, mutations of the Rona, that's what he's talking about. Moa said in NPR, if we really do our best to cover the world, I think we can win together. But if we try and do our own corners and not take, and not take care of what's happening in other countries, I think we'll still have another two, three years of this pandemic. And that's the end of the article. I will leave a link to this article in the description box and comment section for y'all to read on your own. But he's right in a way because, yeah, so I didn't know there was an alpha variant of the Rona that was going on in Europe. But yeah, notice how when it came to Omicron, uh, they they even joked about it, called it the name of a R&B black singer. Yeah, a black singer making jokes about it. And then they travel ban eight countries, but wouldn't travel ban China or any European nations. And this is what this man, this man is calling out. And a lot of people should call out. Africa especially should be continuing to call out. Maybe Africa needs to do travel bans against the United States and against the UK and stop doing trades with the UK and the United States and trade with each other and trade with or someone else. And maybe Africa needs to trade with other Af maybe South Africa and Botswana need to trade only with that other African nations. Stop trading with the countries that disrespect you like the United States and the UK. Especially because even racism, even in a pandemic, we've seen the worst of racism, even in the case of a pandemic. They were, and the reason why the European and the American nation and the United States wanted to do all this negative stuff towards Africa is because Africa has the less cases, the least cases. The Africa didn't have a lot of people dying, actually. They were doing a lot of better because they they've been through panda epidemics before, so they were able to do better. They didn't have a lot of deaths actually, and like I said, they didn't have the United States still has the most cases with the Rona and the most deaths with the Rona. I'm talking about the United States. The United States of America has the most cases and the most deaths with the uh, with the Rona, my Sharona, and they're mad because. Africa has the less cases and less deaths. The whole continent has less cases. The whole entire continent has less cases than one nation 
which is the United States, one nation, the United States has more cases and more deaths than one entire continent. That's why they were willing to do this to eight countries of that continent. And how the media wanted to destroy the rep reputation of Africa with this pandemic. But they didn't want to do that to China, even though it was China that, that where it started. But that's all I have to say. Uh, I want to know what y'all think. Like I said, I'll leave a link to the article in the description box and comment section. I want to know what y'all think. Uh, yeah, I want to know what y'all think about this. Um, write down in the comment section what you think about this. Be careful how you write the comments. If you're trolling, I will block you. If you write a good comment but YouTube doesn't like it, they will hide it block it and whatsoever so be careful how you write your comments i still want to know what y'all think make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed hit that notification bell i might also leave links to my different accounts for you to follow me on youtube black junction twitter etc but that's all i have to say this is j dog thank you for watching and i hope to catch y'all in another video hold on before i go to once again to my african viewers this is the racism in both Europe and the United States of America. If you're coming from Africa or if you're an African viewer, this is what I talk about in some of my videos about the racism um, that goes on, whether it's Europe or the United States. Um, and now, if you are living in Africa or if you're in Africa that hasn't experienced the racism from Europe or America, this is what racism is in your from Europe and America but yeah that's all I have to say thank you for watching and I hope to catch y'all in another video peace everyone